see you guys again. You too. Was that the most spectacular knockout of your career? That is the only knockout of my. That is the only knockout of my career. There you go. So yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. When you slammed him to the ground, I mean, this might sound like a silly question, but were you in, intending to knock him down or were you, uh, knock him out, or were you just intending to get him to the floor? I was hoping to hurt him. Um, you don't put your forearm across someone's neck unless you're trying to hurt somebody. Was I expecting the knockout? No, but it's a very nice little perk of the action. It was crazy. Probably a bonus as well. I hope so. That'd be very nice. <laughs> I think, though, perhaps even more important than the knockout was the celebration of Dirty, dirty Dancing. Uh, spectacular. How many hours in the gym to pull that off? That was probably only the... We tried, we tried it a few times. There was a few fails, a few almost broken necks. But we, pre we prepare a syndicate to, to, to fight and perform on the big stage, and I was not going to fail at my action. No. I mean, you don't take risk to, without rewards, right? So. None. Yeah. So with a, a, I think it's 22 seconds the entire fight. So with something like that, how quick do you want to get back in there? Um, it has to be either very soon or after February. So I can see my daughter. Um, I'm not going to, uh, that would be just my luck to fly to Abu Dhabi or something. My wife goes into labor and you never live that down. <laughs> yeah, that so it um, has to be very, very soon or a few months. Cool. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Congrats on the win. Thank you. For those that have never pulled off a wonderful slam like that, when you talked a little bit about having the arm against the neck, was that also to help control his head going down, or is it also just to get some more force as you're propelling him towards the canvas? Yes, it helps me get more force, and it also helps me direct where he lands. So if you slam somebody, they can kind of turn like a cat in the air and kind of, pre and kind of predict where they fall. Me grabbing onto him and then slamming him allows me to know exactly where his head's going to land and bounce or not bounce. And it looked like uh, there was a moment where he was sort of looking back at the mat, gauging what was going to go on. But I don't remember, I don't think you trapped his arms in that position. I think he was holding on to you. Would that have been the kind of thing, if you were in the opposite position, would you have tried to put your arms down to try to stop it? Or does that risk breaking an arm possibly coming uh, down? Is there a way to, how would you defend against something like that? Um, hell yeah. I mean, I post my arm. I'd rather have a broken arm than a broken neck, <laughs> I suppose. Good point. <laughs> um, but yeah, you do. They usually let go, but if they don't let go, they go to sleep. They go to sleep. Uh, uh, I'm sure you didn't, uh, I'm sure you take that finish and you're happy for it, but I'm sure that probably wasn't the game plan, but what was the game plan coming in for Matt? Um, the game plan was to go out there, pressure him right away, we did that. It was to throw some kicks to get him to overextend, and that's what happened. I was hoping to get show off some more striking, but when the takedown is given to you, um, only fools say no to the gods. But um, <laughs> So I shot on the takedown, and it kind of went perfectly from there. Would you say that was probably the best performance of your, uh, your career? And w or was that the biggest win of your career as well? Oh, definitely the biggest win of my career. I got the fight handsome Matt Wyman. That's pretty tight for a little nerdy kid. Like, I was 14 years old, nerdy, no athletic experience. And I looked up and watched, saw him on the TV, and I got to beat him. It's pretty tight. What is it like going in there when you're going against a guy that you've seen like that? Is it tough to kind of put those emotions, those, you know, uh, feelings aside to go in there and try to perform? Was it, was it tough to kind of do that or just okay to do it? A little bit. Um, you have to, I had to fight the urge to want to talk at weigh-ins. Like, hey, man, I watched you. Because that is not kosher. I imagine it's a little strange. Um, but, you know, I, at the gym, you beat up your friends all the time. And sometimes you hurt your friends. And in the cage... On fight night, they're not your friends. He's got to hurt them. I didn't get a chance to see. Did, were you able to say anything to him after the fight? Did you talk with him any? No, I didn't get to talk to him. I, um, yeah, I, I wanted to, but when you're hurt, you kind of got to give them space. Sure. Um, looking at 2021, how many fights are you hoping to get in there? And are there any names that, you're, that are on your list? Um, I want to fight as often as I can in 2021. 2020 has been a crazy year. Hopefully, I can be a part of the craziness of 2021. Well, uh, I have no names in mind. Uh, I'm, it's not my job to play, uh, to play matchmaker. They get paid for that. I do not. I get paid to go out there and beat up people and get exciting finishes and hopefully a bonus, Dana. <laughs> so they can, put whoever's in, they can put whoever in front of me. I'm not scared. And they can try to take my O or be a part of the win streak. How do you celebrate the win? Um, I don't know. I'm hoping I could pop, maybe I could buy my wife a house or a condo. I'm hoping if that bonus happens, I just want to have some some some... some I want to have some stability for my family. I want to take care of my family. That would be an incredible way to celebrate. Thank you. Congrats on the win.
Hey Jordan. Yes. How you doing, mate? Good Congratulations night. on the win and uh, keeping your undefeated record. Just how important is it for you to keep that O whilst you're here in the UFC? I guess um, it's pretty important. I guess it's important for marketing and to show that I'm actually good and that no one has beaten me yet. But honestly, I don't go out there just fighting to when I go out there to try to do exciting, intricate new things. And the wins are just a nice little side effect of that. Um, if I lose the O, I don't think it's going to change me at all. But right now, let's ride this win streak. Let's get a few more and get a few more finishes. But um, I try not to think about the record. Every fight is different from everything else. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, can I drop the mic? Can I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did it.